Hello, 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 and welcome to the Sheila C. Hill Show. Oh my goodness, we're so glad that you're here, here today. The Sheila C. Hill Show, Hill Show is just for you. And yes, the C stands for come on in this room and let's have a chit chat. Because this is where we're going to talk about some real talk today. Now, the Sheila C. Hill Show is the ultimate go-to podcast for ambitious individuals who want to live a more fulfilling life and be more successful. And if you have valuable insights, and we're going to offer expert tips and inspiring stories to help you improve your lifestyle, grow your business, and enhance your emotional well-being. Now, in every episode, you're going to gain practical tips and insightful wisdom in the company of supportive community of like-minded individuals whom I call Sheila's Thrive Tribe. So if you're ready to thrive, this is the place to be. Now, if you are new, I am your host, Sheila C. Hill, and I would like to say to you just hello and welcome. Hello, bonjour, come on, star, ni hao, howdy, and how y'all doing? What's going on, my people? Listen, you're new to the show. I would love for you to subscribe, follow, and share, and be a part of Sheila's Thrive Tribe, which is like minded people who tune in on a regular basis and we want to live a more successful life. So just remember, we're here to to be positive and create a change the way that we envision it, okay? Because if you can dream it, it can happen. So today I'm so excited. We have our special guest that's coming up. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cool. So listen, go get mama them, go get sister them. Y'all come on, gather around because we are about to get real. We're gonna understand a lot of things. So our first guest, we do have Angela Charles. Oh my goodness, she is super dope. And y'all know we love super dope people up in this joint, okay? And she helps real estate investors make six figures through short-term rental. What? Can we get a what? Yes, that I told y'all she was dope. Okay, and we have a, a super dope brother on, on the show today too, Mr. J.R. Alexander. Listen, he has been in real estate for over nine years and customer service for over 20 years. And he has a vision to help so many people. So listen good and get ready. Buckle your seatbelt because we are getting ready to go on a ride. Let me tell you. So at this time, we would like to welcome Coach Angela. Hello. And J.R. Alexander. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you. For yes. Thank me. you for having us. Happy 4th of July. Happy 5th. If you're in another country. Yes. Most definitely. We're so happy that you're here at the Sheila C. Hill Show, you guys. We're going to just relax and chill and just have a conversation because, listen, Mm -hmm. both of you are entrepreneurs. And I just had a series of entrepreneurship is not for the weak at heart. I mean, it's definitely Mm -hmm. a roller coaster. It's the highs, the lows, the turns, the twirls and everything else. So we're going to have a a conversation that's going to help someone um, who may be in a situation in entrepreneurship and have doubts and just everything. Mm -hmm. So I just want you all to tell your story. Can you give me an Mm -hmm. overview? Um, Coach Angela, can you give me an overview of what you do? Um, Right now, I help real estate investors um, find Airbnb friendly properties to make revenue a lot of my clients they do acquisition sales so if you're not able to get an airbnb my clients they're able to obtain the airbnb unit for you fully furnish it and and help people get into the uh, industry i do that um i also coach real estate agents on how to do exactly what i do Um, me and jr we also have a, a new business that we're getting ready to launch um I let Jr. touch on that one, but it, it's going to be big for real estate agents and anybody in the real estate business um, can also take advantage of it as well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Jr. Over to you. Awesome. Just give us Thank an overview. You. 
Yeah, so basically mm -hmm. I'm a nine-year real estate professional. I'm a mentor with the mm -hmm. current brokerage I'm at, which is EXP Realty. Um, I am a mentor, a new agents. I love teaching them um, just the ins and outs of like just being an entrepreneur. Um, a lot of people are transitioning. I noticed some issues from becoming like a nine to fiver to entrepreneur. So that seems to be one of my specialties. Um, how to like get that gap, you know, where you're like used to that two week paycheck and like, how do you like overcome that? So that's one of my passions um, is like helping, you know, real estate entrepreneurs with that. Now, um, I actually met Angela through uh, a group for one of the niches that we work, which is apartment locating. And through that, we've developed okay. a, a brother and sisterhood and a business partnership. We saw some gaps and opportunities in the industry um, where we can really help a lot of people. So it works. I think he's having some connection issues. Is it lagging for you? excited um so it's a business so you have to you know put your they head are. down yes i'm here I'm okay here. we lost yeah, you so you have to just keep your head down and just stay focused okay yeah so basically i was just saying that you know we we found some opportunities um and within that one business there's like several different layers to the business model um because okay. there's so many issues within this one gap in the business so we feel that, you know, we're going to revolutionize how the business is done. So we're excited to um, partner and just help so many others in the industry that are those agents that just started and they don't know what to do. So they need that guidance and that, like, you know, transition into making cash flow quicker and more consistently as an agent. Because that's really what most small businesses, they mm -hmm. face the biggest struggle is cash flow issues. So we came... Uh -huh up with a solution to help that um and also we have strategy they are we don't need you to get that internet okay you broke up again yeah. uh -huh. his internet okay 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 but that's well, okay we're gonna we're gonna get it all out we're gonna get yeah, let's gonna get through it your story mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to get through it because I want to hear your story um, mm -hmm. because it sounds like you're very passionate at the end of the day. You're helping people. And when you find a, a problem, when there's a problem and you find a solution, that's where you're actually helping someone and also building. You can build a business when you have the solution. So it sounds like you all are having the solution to help in that gap in the market. So overall, when you do that, how do you identify like the profitable opportunities is it because you're in the market and you understand the, the model that you identify, you know, the profitable opportunities? Mm -hmm. um, I would say yes, just because you see that um, the, the industry itself, there's a, there's a need, there's a lack of this particular service that we're offering. We essentially created a factoring company within our niche. Um, so okay. there's nobody that's doing it. So, we saw that gap in opportunity and we're like, okay. And then we know how to actually produce at a high level. Angela does corporate leasing, which is the highest level. And she's like mm -hmm. broken pretty much records where someone can go from like no money in a month to like creating over six figures in a month. Um, and she actually is not doing a lot of work, you know? So <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, there's an opportunity, but the problem mm -hmm. is sometimes it just takes a long time for the payment. So you've right. done this, you've done well. And then now you're like, I got to pay my bills, but I, I made, I did my part. And that's the problem with real estate. That's one of the biggest issues with real estate is because you're getting paid in arrears. You've done all this yeah. work. Then you have to wait 30 to 90 days to get paid, whether you're selling or leasing a house or a commercial property that, that gap, mm -hmm. most people, they won't survive. That's why so many agents leave and go back to regular jobs okay. because they don't have that. So that's where now we're like, okay, Here's the solution, but then also here's how you're going to maintain. And because especially as small minority business owners, we're not in the top when okay. it comes to being real estate professionals already. So we're already at a disadvantage. So now because of lack of other um, situations like business credit, if you're not consistently making money, how are you going to get business credit? 
you don't have proper business credit, right. how are you going to be, or credit, how are you going to give business credit? I kind of want to so touch true. on the question, uh, what you just asked, and when you said, how do we find basically, so um, then, how do yeah, we yeah, dominate? That's, but that's, 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 well, that's the thing, you know, we've like, we've created like, and another thing too, with the whole AI age, we've partnered with people who are like some of the top coders, like as far as writing the code for AI and different things. So now we have the other layers of the industry. So now oh, wow. we've thought like one thing I've read in this book, one thing I've read about in this book, Zero to One by Peter Thiel, he talks about for every solution that you create, you have to expect a certain amount of problems. So we already know exactly. we're going to be making people more money. We know that. But we know that they're not, they need to know how to manage the money because like you're talking about going from like not having a lot of money to having a hundred thousand dollars. How do you properly have your tech stuff set up? How do you, what bank accounts do you need to have set up? Like, how are you going to be able to like, um, have reserves and like, how, what do you invest that money into so you can scale? Like, do you get a higher VA? Do you do all, do all these things? And so we're like helping that infrastructure and that's going to be part of our service to people mm -hmm. too, because we know that all right, now you've gotten a lot of money. There's a problem that's going to come because if you don't know what to do, you can easily lose it or you're going to get hit with big tax bills because you're not properly doing the things that you need to do. So we're going to have it where the infrastructure is set so you can grow and scale and also have the opportunity to not exit this business um, mm -hmm. as an agent. And that's another thing, too. A lot of real estate. I was, I was just going to say that, too. Yeah. With every business, every single thing that you do is going to be a problem. It is going to be a problem. Something is going to happen. But the yeah. people who are successful and the ones that make it are not the ones who cry and let it overcome them. Like sometimes it feels like the weight on, of the world is on some of the business on the shoulders. But if you can yeah. get through the problem, properly plan it out, fight. Some We got to fight some things. And um, those are the ones who make it are the ones who fight through the problems. And that's what we've done. Like we fought through almost everything somebody can so throw true. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, just to, just I mean, to I think that's point, the right? that's the misconception. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, no, you go, can, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Well, that's what that's the no, because point, that's right? that's a misconception. <laughs> what mm -hmm. people think, you know, if it's hard, I'm not going to fight through it. So you're saying no, no matter what business you go into, you're going to have to fight, and you're going to have mm -hmm. to get the good, the bad, and the ugly comes with being an entrepreneur. So pushing through that just takes you to another level because it's mm -hmm. oh, the other side of it is greatness, right? Right. Just right, like me and one of my clients, yeah, we did a eighty thousand dollar day, which was good when it happened. A what? But eighty thousand dollar day, which it was good when it happened. But um, you know we're dealing with issues that come up that's beyond our control, and we had to do a, almost twenty five thousand dollars in refunds, which is fine because we still made good. But just like okay. you're gonna make money, but there's gonna be a problem somewhere. Every, it's right. not every time, but we gotta we gotta stay positive, and we gotta like I said, keep fighting through it because we're better off today than it was yesterday. One of my favorite quotes, but it took today for us to realize it. And it's too late. So we just got to keep going. Hold up. I know my, my, my listeners are going to say, wait a minute, $80,000 yeah. in a day. Let's, come on, $80,000 in a day? $80,000 in a day. Sometimes people don't even make that for a year. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? See, that's and what it, I'm talking it about. Was crazy. Mm -hmm. But wow. it was because if we did not, thank you, but if we did not fight that whole year, we wouldn't have been where, where we are now to even be able to offer. Just imagine if even my client, she went through some things where she lost 25K and some other deals. So if she would have quit there, that if she would have quit there, then today we, we wouldn't even have that testimony because I needed her right. and she needed me. So right. even if somebody that's listening, if you quit, you, you're playing with somebody else's destiny. So. And then you both lose. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Let's pause on that one. Even if you quit, you're playing with somebody else's destiny. That's why we mm -hmm. have to understand. We live this life, but our life is not for just us. 
And it's for mm-hmm. us to help other people when you go through. Yes. I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's see, a that's a bar. See, that's why that's why my that that's why my background is my background because like I never forget, like I'm Haitian American. I'm born here and I'm American. Happy Fourth of July, y'all. You know, but I'm also Haitian, you know, so I never forget my roots and the essence. So for me, like I know like my dad, just short story, my dad came here, his both his parents died. So just for me to be born in this country, I came from a lot. So you talking yeah. about a language barrier. My dad, you know, didn't have the highest education, but he still was able to be successful. So that's what drives me. So I got no excuse. You know, I have that's both right. my parents. They still live in, even though things ain't perfect. I'm in America, so I better make it happen because there's people back home. They ain't got no water. They don't have any Come electricity. On. They don't have food every day. So it's like, what's my excuse for not like going out and fight, fighting hard? Because mm-hmm. entrepreneurship is actually easy compared to the hard life that they have. So mm. it's like, it's not, it's no excuse. You know, I saw something today and it was talking about the island of Haiti. It was talking about the sweetest fruit have the darkest peels. And I'm like, man, you talk about peels and things like we had such yeah. lows and highs just from starting this business. Like, you know, we had an opportunity, like the partner with someone. Now nah, they're not responding. Like you're talking about this person can help us skip a hundred steps. So now we got to like regroup and like we got like bump it. We got to figure it out. But with own. that, we already regrouped, redid it and we ready to go. And by the time they're ready to come along, we might have some other investors, but. Um, they're tight. That's right. And, and sometimes mm-hmm. you have to pivot. Because mm-hmm. things doesn't work out exactly the way. And listen, I'm the pivot mm-hmm. queen. Let me tell you. If it didn't work out, I was like, okay, let me go try this. Let me try this. And mm-hmm. someone else will come in your life or you will like use that as fuel to get you to the next mm-hmm. level. Because sometimes people think, oh, you just need me to be successful. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. I can, If you don't mm-hmm. want to help or you're not responding, okay, next caller. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. You know? So... I, I like Ooh. when you said you tried this and you tried that, you tried it. Let me tell you something. I've been trying stuff since I was selling erasers in elementary school. I can tattoo <laughs> some eyebrows on your head. I went try taxes. I washed cars. I even volunteered at grocery. Anything you can imagine, I tried if it was a way to make money. But yeah. if you don't know what you're called to do or mm-hmm. what you're passionate about and it still and it makes you money then you missed it. And if you're stuck at a job and not saying nothing wrong with having a job, because by all means, we everybody has to work. But if you're at a job and you know you're not comfortable there, your boss fighting, everybody fighting you, everybody against you, and, and it's time to go. So you need to sit down and make a plan, figure out well, what can I do? Who life did I change when I made that cake? I seen how, how happy they was when I did my little designs or something like that. Or when I made these shirts or when I did that hair, they were so happy. They felt so beautiful because she was down. Figure out what it is that you can do that's going to make a difference that can also bring you money and write it down. Write the vision, make it plain. Come on, sis. Man, Come on. Pass man, the I'm... offering basket, somebody. <laughs> Angela's, ahead, Angela's giving I some bars. It. She's giving some bars because yes! here's the thing. You know, one of my mentors, um, Angela knows her too. Her name is Claudia Hamber Smith. She loves saying this. Um, a job is just over broke, right? You know, I realized, you know, yeah. I'm not against it because I've had jobs in the past, but I realized like when I heard this stat, it blew my mind. Like there's over forty two hundred companies that are um in like that trading on the uh, stock stock exchanges, right? And only like maybe three or four of them are black. So it really like bothered me because it's like, man, you know what? Like we sometimes we don't understand the power of like ownership. And just even if you have to sell to take another play, like look at the Elon Musk play. He was part of PayPal. And then he ended up selling and investing all that money into um, SpaceX and Tesla. And now he's the richest man in the world. So there's two lessons in that. One, like you need to sometimes have partnerships. Two, need to be irrationally a risk taker because like i'll spend my last you know to invest in myself and a lot of people i met angela because i invested in myself and i'm gonna be real like you know i had to like ask my dad for the money to um i went through a a real big depression like this is a mental health show so i knew and i saw angela's story Mm -hmm. when she got when she was sharing her story with people 
I was like, man, she's a woman of faith. And I like, I got crazy faith. I've seen some crazy stuff happen. Like my mother, you know, she doesn't swim. She was found in the lake and she's still alive. You know, she's drank bleach. Wow. You know, she has mental health. My mom struggles from mental health issues. Okay. That's another reason why, like, I have to be successful because I want other children yeah. to be able to, like, you know, have the proper, you know, I want to create a foundation. Mm -hmm. Like, these are my big whys. Like, you know, Haiti, mental health. Like, those are my things that right. push me. So I have no choice because you have to have something bigger than making money. Making money is nice for a car and house, but you're not going to really have no impact. I want when I die, my name, that name, J.R. Alexander, you know, I cared about people and I love people. So Amen. Th this journey, like, it's not easy. So, you know, you're going to have, like, serious stuff that happens in your life. Like, you know, Angela's mm -hmm. has some stuff for her family. You know, I'll let her share her story. But for me, like, my mom is, like, the thing that's in my life that's a constant like she's at the point now where in her life she's declining. Like she needs to have proper health care. So it's a constant thing. Like she needs to be monitored 24 hours a day, you know? So it's one of those situations like, you know, you, you can't be average and have that situation. The strain mm. on my dad as a retired person is going to be too much. So us with the energy. That's the thing. You cannot be average. When I went into apartment I locating. I went in there knowing that I wanted to dominate, knowing because I in, in anything that I tried to do, I wanted to be the best at it. And I feel like I felt I failed at that because I wanted to be the best at it for myself. But with this, I knew I needed yeah. to do I needed to make money to, to be able to do something in the future. So then I got I had a purpose and a reason. So that's why I became so passionate about it. And um. And I met Jr. through. Um, he said he invested in the program. Um, one of our mentors, Pierre. Um, that's how I met Jr. And we both we clicked like this. He was going through something, yeah. and I had just overcame something. But just because you overcome something, don't mean you're not gonna go through something again. So it's up that's and down. Right. But you gotta be that's strong, right. and you gotta you can't give up. Yeah, that, that's Listen, where we. That Y'all are dropping some bars up in here today. <laughs> I mean, that's where you have to. You have, that's where you have to have the right people around you. Like you know, we number one, we have mentors. We have people yeah. that are like minded. So you got to be around people because life's not going to stop. You know, you know, there's always going to be something. Like one of our mentors, Ed Slaminski, he yeah. always says, "Take care of it's today's good. problems today." So it's like always take care of today's problems today. So that's always in the front of my mind because, mm -hmm. you know, there's things that, you know, you can't control. Like, life is going to happen. There's going to be issues with your car. There's going to be issues with health. There's going to be issues financially. And if you're not, like, you know, if you don't understand that, like, when it comes up, you're not going to be prepared because you're going to be so stressed and worried. Like, this is going to happen. This is part of life. Mm -hmm. There's ebbs and flows. But you got to be focused and locked in on a goal. So you know that, you know, no matter what happens, you know, we know that we, we made this goal to get this done. And we can't let these obstacles, they're just distractions because, yes. you know, that's all it is. It's a distraction. It's, it, and I know we're watching across different countries and different platforms and everybody have their own religion and own faith, but everything is the, remains the same. You have to believe in something. Everybody believes in something. Right. And um, what I, I believe in God and Jesus and, and, and all the things that I've been going through and have been through in no matter what it is, I still give him the praise. And that's the secret. You know, you have to praise and thank God through any obstacle that you're going through. Are you not going to make it? The enemy will defeat you, you know, and it says it in the word, you know, and our people perish from a lack of knowledge. that be whether from the Bible or a book, a regular book. If you don't read, you don't research, you won't know anything. So that's why a lot of, like you said, there's only three black people on that stock market thing. Why? Because they, they don't know about it. They haven't read about it. They don't want to read. We don't want to educate ourselves. We're comfortable making, making, just making it. We're not comfortable, comfortable going above just making it, you know, and we need people that's ready to go above just making it. We want to make a difference right. and make, make a difference in people's lives. And, and one thing I can say too, um, you know, I I'm found sorry. that I found that I've had to like, you know, because, you know, basically we're co-founders of the company. You know, obviously I brought that idea to Angela and then it was natural for her to be my partner because we just talk basically almost every other yeah. day or every day. So um, I say that as entrepreneurs and people that are trying to switch over, you need to understand the mindset. Like this is a mindset thing. So you got to shift. 
So what I've done is I've started reading more. Like once I got this knowledge, I'm like, all right, if I can't find the answers from people, like, and I don't have the funds right now to pay these people, I need to learn it from a book. So I've like immersed myself into Audible. So that's become mm -hmm. like my thing. Like I'm reading two books right now, which are crazy. I'm gonna give shout outs. It's called the Entrepreneurial Growth Startup Handbook. And then how to line how to license your million dollar idea so oh. like those two books i'm reading them and i'm like i should be done with those books in like the next like week but mm -hmm. but at the end uh -oh, of the day, we've this, broken up. like you got 24 hours a day okay. oprah the difference between us and the other people is the times that they use is eight you know it's three eight hour shifts Basically, eight to sleep, eight to work, and six to eight to do every 168 hours. When I look at mm -hmm. Audible, a book be like nine hours. Right. Yeah. So I could read, like, chilling, I'm scrolling. Like, I'm not using my time effectively. So one just tip is, like, you know, you got to use your time better. And that's one thing I mm -hmm. realized a lot of Most people aren't doing. Then they, um, they don't know why they're not growing. Or that's stale, and the answers are in the books. Like you know, there's a saying. Yeah, it is. You know, if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in the book. I don't want to be that. But you know what? Uncle. You know, I share that with him. He laughs all the time every time I say it. He, he's got his pick. But it's true. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, you're saying you know what? It's true. Said, it's know, true. It we getting better. We, we getting, getting better. better though. So I see a lot thing. of black people. That's a force. Yes, yes, yes. And that's that's the challenge. And that's why you all are so important, because you're helping so many people go to the next level. You're educating them, but also you're being an example to them, because a lot of times you have coaches, you have mentors and they say, do what I say, not what I do. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're not doing it. They just mm -hmm. learn it and they're just going and teaching it. So mm -hmm. you are all in the process you're in the trenches and you're learning from your own experience and you're pushing mm -hmm. it out and teaching others this is so good listen we're gonna have to take a break for a commercial okay and we're gonna be back with with more gems they've been dropping some gems up in here i am so excited to have you all today but let me tell you at this time we're gonna um go into another commercial because i Listen, y'all know how excited I get, and they is bringing it. They brought it. All right, we're going to have a commercial. We'll be right Are back. Are you looking for relief from pain, insomnia, or anxiety? I, too, was there. I was taking over 21 pills and supplements a day until I found CBD. CBD oil helped relieve my pain, anxiety, and depression. I was able to wean myself off of all of my medicines. Yes, even my opioids. Listen, you can shop at houseofhemp.com for various ways to get CBD into your system to help you as well. You can get them in gummy form, flower form, or oil form, as I mentioned earlier. Listen, you can get your sleepy gummies, you can get your CBD gummies, your Delta 8 gummies, or even your Delta 9 gummies at a house of hemp dot com. All right, thank you. Thank you, a House of Hemp, for sponsoring this episode. We're so at houseofhemp.com, plants over peels. So before the break, we we're talking to Angela and JR. Listen, they was dropping so many gems. We're talking about pivoting. Sometimes you have to pivot in life when things doesn't go your way, not just in entrepreneurship, but in life as well. And also invest in yourself. A lot of people want to invest in cars and houses, the material things, but the most investment and the most important investment is investing in yourself. Because once you have that knowledge, no one can take it away. Way, but when you invest in yourself, also execute as well, and don't be average. Now that was a bar by itself. Listen, I always tell people I am VIP, baby. Okay, I am not no regular smegula. I am not average. So we want to take their advice and their gems, and they're 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 just dropping it. That it's just it's just rainfalls of, of of gems that they're dropping. But understand, there was a process. They had to go through something to give this wisdom, to give this knowledge. And we're going to welcome them back to the stage where they're going to continue to share 
some of their their stories that they're going to share, their ins and the outs, the ups and the downs. Now, throughout all of your assessing, your groundbreaking um, ideas that you have, when it comes to just being an entrepreneur that have, you know, listen, being an entrepreneur, you have so many creatives. So then your average smegula, regular smegula, they don't understand how our brain works. So right. have y'all had challenges trying to relate that to people or, or different things? So what's some stories you share? So I, let me start from the beginning. So I would always, like I said, sell something. I was selling pencils. I was selling candy bags, selling hair, selling lashes, doing eyebrows, doing all these things. But I was stopping and starting, stopping and starting. And you'll get a lot of people who don't understand. Um, oh, you always starting and doing this. Oh, you doing this again. And a lot of people let just somebody saying that bring them down and, and, and they quit. Um, mm -hmm. But you have to keep keep going until you find like find find out what you're good at. But I was explaining to my psychiatrist that I was seeing maybe two years ago, two or three years ago. And I was telling her about all these things about apartment locating and where I wanted to go with it and all these systems and things that I wanted to create for it. And she told me that I was having a manic episode. So that just goes to say that a lot of people won't understand how your brain works. They'll think you're crazy. Some people will call you crazy. But if I didn't listen, if I didn't follow my dreams, I wouldn't have created so many six figure earners, so many business owners and entrepreneurs. So sometimes the doctor may be right sometimes, but also sometimes the doctors just don't understand, especially like when you have a calling, they, they won't get it. Sometimes it's above them. You know, sometimes our grace is higher than theirs and we working up here and they still down here. So we have to know how to distinguish the difference. Another thing is to the two P's protocol and procedures. You need to have your protocols and your procedures down, how you operate, how you work, what you can. I wake up at six, seven o'clock every morning. Every morning I'm up. We on prayer. We boom, boom, boom. You have to have it scheduled. Now, the rest of my day might be crazy, but I know in the morning I'm going to make sure I have that done. And sometimes it starts just there, having a little thing that you can do that's structured so that you can grow the rest of your structure out, if that makes sense. That's powerful. Mm, 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 mm. That's yes. powerful. And, and she tapped in on that. That's one of the things that, you know, you need. Like when I was going through this entrepreneurial journey, like mm -hmm. I had a morning routine. I listened to like Eric Thomas, Jim Rohn, Les Brown every morning. I, I was after my worship. Um, you know, those are the things that I listened to. Like I had to get my mind right because, you know, when you study how your brain works, you realize like your brain is like it's very negative. Like your, your brain repeats mm -hmm. the same negative thoughts over and over and over. So there's times it's like, why don't you get, why don't you go get a job? Why don't you do this? You hear people telling you that because, you know, for people, they don't understand trading time for money. They like, they're so used to that because that's how the college system, you know, is taught, go to school, get a job and work for somebody else. Like, you know, and you, when you study like black history, the people that were the most successful during the times you had like Tulsa, Rosewood and the black Harlem Renaissance, most of the people own their own businesses. So we got mm -hmm. away from that. And that's what's changed. That's why I love like the guys like Earn Your Leisure, um, how they're like, you know, in motivating us to get into like understanding how wealth works, entrepreneurialism and businesses. I love this movement and they're making it cool where it's like it's not just the athletes. It's not just these you know entertainers. There's another lane. You got the Robert F. Smith. That's a billionaire that you can go after. You got an Oprah Winfrey. That's a billionaire. You have all these other people now that are investing in their um, they're going into like these different channels so you know with us the way our brains work just being creatives you get bored easy i'm gonna be honest with you like i get bored like i'm i started getting burned out doing real estate so that's where this new challenge that we have with this company it like drives me because like i'm at the phase now where i want i don't want to be an agent for the rest of my life i want to have an exit plan early i want to be able to retire i have a son that's four years old I want to be able to, okay. I don't want to be like my dad that worked two jobs his whole life, you know, and then retired and still works a little part time. And then you have to you know, go you know, into it knowing. Like, I don't want to be in that position. You got to go exactly. into it knowing. So like, I went into apartment locating knowing I was going to be the top producing apartment locator that was around. And little did I know in just what, 90 days, I was that. Yeah. That's powerful. You know, what? she's right. 90 days? 
Oh my gosh. But you just had a psychiatrist say you was having manic depression. So how did you push mm -hmm. past that? That's why I wanted to. Let me tell you, they gave me, they gave me a bottle of pills. They gave me a bottle of pills. I, I don't even remember what they called. I never took them because I knew that I wasn't crazy, you know, and I just had to, right. I got tired of proving to other people that I could do something. And I started doing it for my own self, for, for my purpose to fulfill my dreams okay. and, and my calling. And that's what we have to do. Like some, we'll get a lot of people coming at us negative, but stay focused on what it is that you trying to do because they're going to come, they're going to come, they're going to be negative. But if you turn to those same people and ask them, what have you done to help me? Or yeah. are you going to pay my bills? The answer is going to always be no. So their opinion don't matter. They're not going to give yeah. you a dime. Your, your tie's going to flat. Ask one of your friends to buy you a tie and see how many of them come through. <laughs> exactly. So true. <laughs> exactly. And, th and that's the thing. Like, you know, it oh, is kind of, you know, it, it is somewhat crazy because, you know, let's just say this. You have to have radical faith. You have to have crazy faith in yourself. Because a lot of people, they're like projecting their negatives. They, they're like, they wish they could do what you are doing. They wish they could take a chance. They, they're so like, they're still living childhood traumas where they can't bet on themselves. You know, they had other people doing everything for them. Like, nah, I'm, mm. I'm, the reason I got into entrepreneurialism too, like I hated people telling me what to do. I don't mind listening and, and having, you know, certain things. But I was telling this company literally like, hey, you guys are blowing the leads. Like you guys are harassing the people. That's not how you have proper customer service. By the time it's time for these people to like, um, you know, do business with you, you're, they're turned off because you like you don't. It's like the the one of my favorite books, "How to Win Friends and Influence People" by Dale Carnegie. Like you got to know how to talk mm -hmm. to people. You got to know how to right. like you know be that that create that love and that. It's like Christ's methods. Like Christ was people's friends first, and then he ministered to their needs, and then he said, "Hey, come follow me." You know what I mean? Like. So that's the that's the approach we want to have. We want to be like, hey, if you're somebody that's jumping in as an entrepreneur, like this is the this is what you got to do. Mindset first, you know, purpose. It has to be right up there. You know, not even mm -hmm. not, that's not even an order. But I would say those two things need to be your first two things. What's your big why? Like, why are you yeah. doing what you're doing? Because money, it's gonna be things that you know. Once you get money, it's it's gonna be things that happen that are great. Hold on, money. Jr. Well, let me get on that. When you say your big why, because a lot of people always oh, because of my family and I want to build build generational wealth. We need to figure out our our why for real. We need to go down and figure out the ugly part of us that we don't like that we want to change. And that's what I had to do. I had to look at myself in the mirror and say, I don't like this about myself. I want to change this. And in order for me to be the person that I want to be, I need to confront that. And that's why I don't want to be like that. You know, that should be your why. You don't want to be how you used to be. You want to be better. That's powerful. That's powerful. And I went to a That's conference. That's so true Susan. because so much. No, because uh, hold on, JR, because that's what I'm thinking. A lot of times we don't deal with the truth. We don't want to deal with the ugliness. We don't want to deal with ourselves. We don't want to be real. Mm -hmm. We want to just mm -hmm. skirt over it, fancy it up, dress it up, look cute. But in the inside, mm -hmm. we're hurting, we're dealing with pain, we're dealing with unforgiveness, yep. we're dealing with an ugly spirit, and yet and still we go out here trying to be successful, but we haven't tapped yeah. into who, who we are Our and characters getting, from the root, getting help mm -hmm. from the root. That's Maybe. deep. That's deep. Mm -mm. That's real go right ahead, there. JR. I'm loving it. Well, yeah, well yeah. this is this is one thing. I went to this Wealth Wealth Connect conference, and man, this is a big takeaway that I had and you know, it was like it's. I'm so glad I went. I, I invested in it. Um, it's by. It was done by Annetta Powell. I'm gonna just give her a shout out. Um, she had one of the my favorite um, new online mentors and Myron Golden. So I share him his stuff oh, yeah. with Angela all the time. So Myron was like basically saying, like, what do you hate? And he was talking about like, you know, a lot of us are not where we want to be because we don't have a hate. Like he said, he despised and gets disgusted with poverty. So mm. I started thinking about all the things that I hate. Like, I hate being broke. I hate <laughs> people telling me what to do. Like, he doesn't even like, like, it was so funny because he's like, he only flies private because he says he don't fly commercial no more because they lost his luggage. People think he's arrogant and bougie. He's like, no, he had that bad experience. And I was like, man, you know what? I started thinking. I'm like, it really made me challenge myself. It's like, what are you, like, what's holding you back? Because you don't hate this bad enough. You don't hate struggling bad enough. You don't hate your family. You don't hate your mom not having the proper health care. 
bad enough. You don't hate, like, Ooh. you know, we going to church. Still, you, you don't hate your dad yes. still having to still work a part time job bad enough. Like, your dad should be done Ooh. and retired. So it's mm-hmm. like, you know, I mean, I had to hold back the tears because it was like, it's true. Because when he first said it, I was like, dang, man, you know, I'm saying I want to do this and that. I'm like, all right, I really got to like go hard because I can't say that I'm tired of seeing my, my dad has a bad shoulder and he's still working. So it's like, nah, I'm not, I'm not what I need to be. So let me, let me tighten up and let me get mm-hmm. more information so I can transform my family's life because, you know, I'm too comfortable. And that's the thing. A lot of y'all, y'all out there, y'all too comfortable. You know, you're comfortable. And it's, it's a lot job. of people too that's mm-hmm. overseas y'all can make this type of money too yeah because the business that we have and that the people that we're trying to help have they need assistance virtually and it's plenty of jobs out there i just want to put that out there for anybody that was wondering like are they talking about real estate in the united states no we need everybody one of my close some of the closest people i know are in pakistan and um the Philippines, and I never met them. I trust them wow. in my life. Wow. So you go out there and build relationships with people that's trying to do something. And if you want to take part in that, let me say this too. A lot of people don't know how to take part in something. A lot of people see mm. something and they want that for themselves. But sometimes you have to come and help somebody. Like my sister, she's been helping me for like two years now. Sometimes she gets the bare minimum paper. She sees the vision. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to compromise. Sometimes, sometimes you don't. Um, but I just want to put that out there that yes. there is jobs for everybody. Everybody can can make something out of themselves, no matter what country you in. You can make six figures doing um, Airbnb hosting. Um, you can do virtual assistance for real estate agents. You know, creating their graphics, things like that. So don't think that you're outside because you're not in America. You definitely in the room with us. Funnels, landing pages, definitely. websites, all that. Most definitely. I love that. Okay. That That's so powerful. So, so basically, oh my goodness. What- I love that because there's so many people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have so many gifts. But then when JR said about comfortable, we're so comfortable here. We're so comfortable because we have the minimum is they're, they're high a lot of times in different countries as well. So we get so comfortable that we don't have that push and we don't take that our why and let it be our driving mm-hmm. force because we're comfortable. Right. And we have got to, like Jared said, we got to hate it bad enough, like poverty, to say, I'm going to do something about it and be persistent, mm-hmm. consistent, and execute. Okay. One more thing, too. Let me add this. That's real. Let me you add know, just one last else. thing. Okay. Be firm. Be firm with the people around you too, because they'll drag you, they'll weigh you down, and they'll discourage you. So if it's not aligning with your vision and your purpose, let them go. It's not Ooh. worth it. Oh my God! Let Hold them on, go. Child. Woo! I gotta give my clap on that one. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I I literally spent like yeah. maybe four me, months. You know what? So it be the family. I spent four months uh, of this year around people that meant me no good, and I had and I would have gave them the shirt off my back and the food off my plate, and the whole time they were stabbing me in my back. So we have to be able to understand that we don't need friends while we building. We need people. We need help. So if you're not helping me, and you're hindering me, you could be my friend, but I, I I'm focused. So you can either come on with me or you got to wait right here till I get there. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Okay. They are. Yeah. I'm I'm that's y'all powerful. are just yeah, really... I mean she's right because you need you need discernment and you need that discernment. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, we about to go to church. Where is the offering play? Where is the music? Come <laughs> on, we need right. a selection. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because because about, to do the, 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 about to do the appeal. We gotta do the appeal. It's a PS time. <laughs> Bring them to the altar. <laughs> oh my God. I am so excited. But that's the thing. But, that, but low yeah. key. Go ahead. But that's what this is all about. This is like purpose driven. Mm-hmm. You know, it's purpose mm-hmm. driven. And, and you're right. There are people that are going through this like, man, I'm not in America. What can I do? Like, number one, you got to get your skills up. Like, you got to get your skills up. Like, you cannot like be the same person 
you have 180 days left in the year. So that's a lot of time. A lot can change and you can carry that momentum into the new year. And like a lot of things will happen, but that's not going to happen unless you change. So that means, again, mm -hmm. back to what we spoke about, you got to sacrifice. You got to maybe sacrifice sleep, you know, time. If you got a family, obviously you don't want right. to take away from that. But I mean, you got to wake up early, mm -hmm. wake up three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Is that where you can, mm -hmm. can maximize your days? Two. Uh, let me know, say family again, because like, that gets difficult. Like, who are the people that you're around? Family yeah. gets difficult. Family gets difficult. Like I spent a lot of time away from my own children because I had to build something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, a lot of people don't look at it like that. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, she left, she went and working all these hours, don't have time for the children and stuff like that. But in the next three years when I retired, I can look back and say, hey, you know, this is what I did it for. My children have paid education and things like that. So sometimes it's going to take time away from your family, some away from your husband, away from your kids, and it's going to hurt. But you have to stay focused on the goal. And if you give up at any point in time, all that time you spent away from your family is for nothing. You failed them. So that's why you got to keep going. But that's where... We, that's that's real talk Angela thank you for bringing that up because that's where we have guilt we have that mm -hmm. mom guilt we have that dad guilt and it stops us but it's a it's a sacrifice and if your kids mm -hmm. are old enough to understand and listen even if they ain't you know what's best for your family and you're yeah. sacrificing your time your efforts your money you know at one point I was gone every weekend I was gone at a conference or or something and building because mm -hmm. listen I at one point I said, I don't raise y'all children. I, I have teenagers. <laughs> I've raised y'all. I got to live my life. And that's a part mm -hmm. of trying to understand who you are because we lose mm -hmm. ourselves so much. Yeah. And when times mm -hmm. get hard, we lose ourselves. When you're trying to do so much and you're trying to build, you don't know who you are. So we got to get to that point to understand and put the value. And when you put your value in who you are, you're going to invest in yourself. You're going to make mm -hmm. those sacrifices because you know at the end what the goal is going to be. Man, let me. Mm -mm. Woo, this you're awesome. going to make mistakes. You're going to do some things that you probably shouldn't have done in your business, but you got to take accountability right. for it. You got to learn from it. Don't do it again and grow from it, you know? So it's going to be a lot of things. It's going to be heartbreak, tears, blood, sweat, and tears through the whole mm. process, literally. Like, mm. but you got to keep going. If you quit, you and, fail. If you quit, you fail. Exactly. Exactly. And, and another thing, too, is, is that yeah. if we can do it, you can do it. You know, I, I just remember, like, I, I remember walking in my neighborhood, listening to those audios. And then I found myself working in California, being in billionaire's houses. Like, you know, because of like, I, I, I did a cold email. So I did a cold email to someone I worked with. And like, you know, next thing you know, he's like, man, I really like the value in your ideas. He's like, you know, I want to fly you out to help me build my company. So I realized, wow, you know what? This thing works. Like, you know, when you start believing in yourself and start doing these things, you know, it's going to change your life. Like, just like me reaching out to Angela, like, you know, I didn't think, you know, that she was going to be, like, approachable. I, I thought, like, sometimes people, when they go through stuff, they're like, you know, I reached out to other people in the group, and they weren't as kind, and, you know, but she saw that there was something in me because I was persistent. You know, I didn't stop. You know, I was like, because I knew that once she got to know me, she'd be like, okay, yeah, I see mm -hmm. why. And she's got yeah, to see the people that are in my sphere and influence. Mm -hmm. And she knows that like, I'm yeah. serious. And like the phone calls we've had with people, the conferences, the meetings, is real. It's yeah. mind blowing to say, and let me tell you where I come from. Uh, when I first started, I had a one bedroom apartment and I have five kids. We had mattresses, twin mattresses that my my sister husband gave us from his children, my nieces and nephews. So they were they were used. And we used that for the first couple of months that um that I lived there. And um maybe what sixty days later, JR, I had did a, a forty eight thousand dollar invoice for a complex and it was up from there. So we just you just gotta it's crazy. So you you can go wait, from wait nothing. A minute, hold up, <laughs> I, I got one better. Pause, I got an pause, invoice pause. coming up. Come on. The invoice I got coming up it's it's gonna be eighty grand. I le I leased forty over forty units last month. 
So in 60 what? days, I'll be able to invoice. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That's like next There's going to be days when you be flat broke, but yeah. you're going to get some money. And when you get your money, you take it and you invest it into what's going to bring you money. Okay. Um, yeah. Put it back into your business. So whether it be a sponsor, being a sponsor on the Sheila C. Hill show, yes. pay the money, get your business out there. You know what I'm saying? That's so, right. so people can hear about you. Um, websites, right. you know, people need to spend money on branding. People need to look good because it's a lot of people that I go on their page and I have to wonder if they real or not. You know what I'm saying? And they want business. So we got to put all that into, into a fake. Okay, so as, as you're saying that, what do you say, what do you guys, what advice would you give to new entrepreneurs who sometimes have imposter syndrome? I just did an episode on imposter syndrome and it, it can be the death of you. But what do you say to new entrepreneurs who are embarking now, especially during this economy? What advice would you give them? If they don't use their gift and what God gave them, uh they're gonna lose it. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be an imposter about it, he's gonna give it to somebody else. You still have a gift, but because you haven't used it, he's gonna give it to somebody else and they gonna they're gonna use it and you're gonna look at it. and I know people have done it before because I even did it. I look and I say I had that same idea if I would have just did it. Um it's some mesh it's some mesh bags that you can literally buy in a store now. I call you know one of those one eight hundred numbers have an idea to create a mesh bag to wash the fitted sheets in because they kept tangling all my stuff up. Boom, okay. couple years. I think it was this year when I seen it in the store, I was just like, if I would have kept going, but that wasn't my calling. I wasn't meant to make mesh bags so they can have it, you know. <laughs> they make you feel good anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, JR, what would you say? Oh my goodness. Mm. Well, that, that goes to say that, that that goes to show like you know there's you know there's no original ideas. That's one thing my mentor always said is just ideas yeah. that were executed on. Like that's the key. That's right. execution. All this stuff can be great. You know, for me with imposter syndrome, I sometimes I feel it sometimes, but a lot of that comes from not being grateful. When you're not grateful for what God's mm. giving you, and you understand, like I think for me that's where it comes from. It's like man, you have a gift. You know, you better be grateful for that because there's people that don't see this. And this goes mm -hmm. back to like how, you know, this faith is big in our like business is big for us. That's why we're partners. Like I had to have faith yeah. to know that that program will work for me. So I had to have faith to know that me reaching out to Angela was going to work. So I think a lot of the people, they need to have just more faith in themselves. So there's something like, you know, you're going back to the essence because we're like God, like in the sense that we're creative. That's the original thing. Like use your creativity to make you money. And there's nothing wrong with that. So it's not the wrong with what you're saying. Let like, me say hey, that you know because what? it'll be this some people like watching him. saying, Oh, he said he's like God. God made us to be in his image. So these things we're supposed to do, even he said we're supposed to do it greater than him. Right. So that's not true. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So so we're using this platform because guess what? We can reach millions at one time. Like before, you had to be in one place. Now with technology, we can reach millions of people. And it could be on. It could be on forever. So this one recording can be a legacy for years. It could be a That's documentary. Right. Who knows? It could pieces of this could be in a documentary. That's what yes. this online stuff is about. It could be like it's a digital library now. So we have to start mm -hmm. looking at content, and the things that create at a different level. Because you know, no, you're not an imposter. You, if you know who you are and whose you are, you're not gonna think like that. Because that to me. Come on. Some mm -hmm. of the like, there's some of that human weakness and that frailty where you don't like know mm -hmm. where you're coming from. No, I'm we're divinely created. We were built in His image. So because of that, like we're we're supposed to do good things That's because right. we come from them. You talk about God had to like literally shut down the people because they were gonna they were they were on one accord. That's another thing. That's another takeaway. They were Why? so close and working yes. together that He had to confuse their languages because they were gonna go. They were they were up. Like right there, like they were going into the heavens, but you know, he created that because mm -hmm. he saw, like, man, if these people can get locked in and focused, like they're powerful. And that's one thing that we all have to see. Like, and that's how I feel with Angela. When we're locked in together, we're powerful and we're gonna have mm -hmm. an army. We're attracting other people to us because of the the purpose and the passion, and they see like 
anytime we have conversations, some people think it's too big. They're like they they may be intimidated because they didn't realize like wow we have a, a new a new person that we're gonna be working with that's gonna really help us and you know <laughs> as creatives we do have some weaknesses like I don't like paperwork yeah. I'm sure Angela don't like it either because I rather use that energy <laughs> on creativity that's the thing like yes. you said that's a big thing so you gotta know <laughs> your weaknesses and your strengths as another that's another yes. takeaway I don't like paperwork. Just let me meet the people and put me in front of people. Like this is my this is my lane. I can talk. You know, I'm a talk. I feel you. You know, but I'm I'm an introvert, low key. But I'm I talk about things I'm passionate about. Like yeah. I'm not gonna talk about, you know, that's but when it comes to helping people and, and making a chance to help them overcome like wow. we have. Like we're dealing with okay. stuff. Just today, my mom was going through something. Like we we got we realized today, like I mean, you're talking about today, like literally. Like my mom yeah. realized she can't stay in the house. She's gonna have to. She fought mm -hmm. her home health aid, so now we're gonna have to put her in a facility. That's gonna be hard. Okay. I don't want to see my mom up in yeah. like some home jail. That's basically what it's gonna be. I don't want my son right. to have to see her like that. But we got no choice because she's not gonna get the proper care. So that's a battle. I'm gonna have to grieve that losing my mom, seeing her transition. But you know what? Thank she's you. alive. Right. She's still here. Yep. There's people that don't have their mom. So right. it's like, and I when you say grieve, I can at least still see her. She's here. Right. It's okay to grieve, but don't stop. Right. My sister, my sister and my best friend, the two closest people to me passed in these last two years. And the next day I stood oh, wow. I showed Sorry. up. Thank you. Wow. And the next day, next day I showed wow. up. Showed up, show up, show up. And I haven't stopped showing up. Some days I don't even want to make a post. But I get on my phone and I post a picture and tell everybody good morning, something, you know. Yeah. So we 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 have our struggles, but we still push through it. We make a little step to show up still. And that's why it's so important to have self care and mm -hmm. to prioritize our mental health. Just because we have so much, and and like Jr. saying, taking care of your family, you taking care of your your kids, your parents. And then we're the last ones to take care of ourselves. So sometimes mm -hmm. you have to pause. And sometimes in that fight, you are pushing so you can show up because when you stop mm -hmm. showing up, you can be stagnated and then depression can sit in. And then before you know, you're just in a corner rocking because you are about to lose it. So right. instead of getting to that place, take that time, pause, realize what's going on. And then of course, I'm a woman of faith, so I, I will pray, <laughs> you know, but hey, therapy too. Prayer and therapy. Jesus and therapy mm -hmm. is what I need, you know. So uh, I don't I don't say not go to therapy. Go yeah. to therapy. Have a regimen that you need that's gonna help you. But at the end of the day, you've got to make yourself number one priority to take care right. of your mental health. Period. Right. Period. And and we have so, to stop and, complaining and, so and start declaring. Go ahead. That's Come on. We got to so declare true. things so over our life. And we say, oh, woe is me. Um, I had mm -hmm. this and pulled me. And you want to have that pity party, but that's what mm -hmm. is going to get you further down, deeper down, mm -hmm. and hold you longer than you want it to hold you. And before you know, mm -hmm. the devil ain't got the whole glory. And God yeah. ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. Woo, honey. Let me. Okay, let, let, right. let's just I mean, let's wrap I, this I love, up. Because I, I love Okay. Go ahead, JR. I'm I'm gonna say this last thing. No test, like like Les Brown says it, no test, no testimony. So that's right. You know, for me, like the closest I've gotten in my walk was with this situation that I went through with my family. Okay. Um, you know, my cousin, you know, one of my oldest cousins, he's like my big brother. And I'm Sam Blanchard, I'm gonna give him a shout out. And he was like, Man, you gotta get back to nature. So I was like, What does nature look like? I don't like going to the walks, you know. I'm not I don't like to walk on the you know, so I started going to the beach. I live real close to the beach, man. Okay. You know, and okay. people were probably, you know, mad at me because I was posting a peach every single day. But that's when I started, like, you know, I heard this sermon from Devon Franklin, and he was just talking about how he just started, like, reading his word. And I just started with Psalms, and I was reading Psalms. Like, I was focusing on the book of Psalms because, you know, there's so many promises and it's just so many powerful things in there. And when I tell you, so for me, that was one thing I did. I got back with nature. I got back to the natural. I got to see the birds. You know, I got to hear the yeah. sounds of the ocean. 
and things like that. So if you're in a, a situation where you have mountains, whatever, for me, that's what that's what got my mental health back was like going, reading that word, listening to a powerful song, a playlist, um, you know, yeah. this have my worship playlist. That's what got me right. You know, because there's times I'll tell you, even though it wasn't going good, you know, I still was consistently going. I only stopped going because mm -hmm. there was a scare at the beach with this um, flesh growing bacteria. I'm like, man, I can't take no chances. I'm trying to build something great. So I, it kind of yes. makes me, you know, a little bit upset. I might go to, yeah, that's the only reason I stopped going because I, I got scared. I was like, man, I don't want to take no chances. And now I got my son. I, know that's why. I got so much I got to deal with. So, you know, I was like, so I was like, I can't add to the but to the to the drama my family has. So I feel like something's missing. So I'm, I'm gonna probably go tomorrow, um, because um I feel like all right, okay. let me start my routine because I felt you know second half, you know we got you know first second quarter we got three we got you know it's still time in the game, you know there's there's still time. Come so on, if you're That's starting right. a business, That's right. you know you know if you're doing doing leads and buy fourth today. You got a whole bunch of time. Like that's that's some by the time September first comes, so much can have changed in the next two months. So you know, but yes. that comes from the daily like rituals and the practices that you have. So you know, self care. Like for me, like you know, when I was going through my depression, I wasn't like shaving. I wasn't you know like you know getting out of bed at a certain time. You know, just you know taking a, a good shower. You know, little things like that felt so good. You know, I right. feel like I love taking like a hot shower. You know, I'm probably crazy. Probably people probably think I'm crazy, but for me, it's therapeutic. It's right. almost like a sauna like type of thing. Exercising, mm -hmm. I like playing basketball, so that's my therapy. So Good. you know, it's definitely speaking to people with wisdom. You know, seeing therapists and counselors. So these are all things that you know, because again, mental health is a big thing. So right. you know, you have to, um, you have to be locked in mentally because you know, otherwise you'll be stuck. Right, and a lot of people. I, I like what you said too. Owner, if you're not taking care of your mental health, about right. showering. Um, so my mom deals with mental health too, and um, wow. she doesn't shower like she should. And I knew growing up that I never wanted to be like that. I always wanted. So you'll catch okay. me taking two or three showers a day sometimes, and I knew. Um, okay. And this was before I started. I knew whenever I went two days and I stood in a shower in the water, I, I was like this again. You know, the water was hitting me like that. I knew then something was wrong. So know your body. Know when something wrong so you can address it. And when you address it, take take it completely off the board. Like, okay, I felt like this this day. So now I'm going to make sure every morning, every night, I'm in there. And then I was able to, you know, because it, it gets bad sometimes. Sometimes like, we fight. We we fight. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So a lot of things we fight are within our, our inner man and in our spirits. And we need to yeah. cleanse them and get them together. And um, that is so persist. One of, my, one of my favorite sayings, and I'm going to leave you all with this, is from OG Mandingo. And he wrote the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World. And he said, I will persist until I succeed. No matter what you're going through, sometimes you might not feel like even getting in the shower. Keep going. Mm, come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. And that, that's what I was going to ask you all. Like, okay, understanding your, your, your challenges and understanding where you are and what you can see, because I know you all see greatness. Um, mm -hmm. And I, you all, all have really helped so many people. How can people get up with you? I wanted you all to have your, your last your last statements. I don't know, Angela, if that was yours, but just your last mm -hmm. statement to whomever that you want to speak to. And mm -hmm. please let us know your social media handles. How can people get in contact with you? But I mm -hmm. want you all to know, I am so thankful that you all are here today. Mm -hmm. I am, this is just not a, a regular podcast. This is a podcast to make a difference. And this is a podcast that is going to reach millions. But I, I just want to thank y'all because I'm really getting emotional at this point because it resonates. And you, for you all to be so transparent to understand, especially with mental health, so many people skirt around it and they're embarrassed and they're not saying this is so important. And, and we can, if we can help one person, we've done our job. But yes. I just believe you all's testimony, your speaking, your transparency has helped someone, has saved someone. 
Mm -hmm. I, I just believe that. I just feel it right Thank now, my you. spirit. And I'm just so thankful to have y'all on. But if you can give your last words and give us your social media handles, and if you have any offers that you want to share, y'all go for it. I'm just so full. Whoever um, so first. I'll go. Mm -hmm. I want to leave y'all with two scriptures. One is that okay. you will lend to many nations. You will be the um, the lender and not the borrower. That's a promise that is in the Bible. And also that God wants you to be, to prosper and be in good health. That is another um, one that's in the Bible. So when you go to battling these things in um, with your mind and things like that, say, God, you said in your word that you wanted me to prosper and be in good health. And you're not a man that you should lie. So I use the Bible. Um, to fight in, in a lot of battles. So I want to leave y'all with that. Um, use your word, whoever you believe in. Um, just stay focused and, and meditate on the things that you want to have in life. And if you guys want to um, follow me, um, you can go to solo, S-O-L-O dot T-O slash Angela T-X Realtor to follow me on all platforms. Okay, can you repeat that, Angela? It's solo.to slash Angela TX Realty. Okay. And that will be in the show notes as well. Thank you very much, Angela. All right, JR, Thank your you last words. Contact. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, the last the last few words I would say is look, Over to you, you're not alone. You know, there's other people that are going through this. You're not alone. This could be worse, you know. That's one thing I always think about because, like, you know, look at my situation. I'm like, it's not perfect. My mom, she's bipolar, schizophrenic. I've never had a proper mom like my whole life. But you know what? I got my mom. She's here. There's so many people. So I started like looking back, like, man, you got to start being more grateful for stuff because you're just complaining about the things that you don't have sometimes. So it's like, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm looking like, man, you at least got to, you know, I, I'm giving this thing for a reason. I have this particular mom for a reason. So. This is my gift that God gave me to the world. So use it, use it to your advantage. This is my situation. Let me not allow it to become like a curse, but I want it to be a blessing for me and others. So that's how I started looking at stuff in my life. Like these last, you know, I'm, I'll be 40 next year. So these last few years I have left, you know, I'm on the other side of, of a shorter life. You know, I'm like, this has to be the, the, you know, the greatest time that I have. So now that I have yeah. all this wisdom, you know, I'm like, I need to, I need to definitely capitalize on it. So, and also very important, like I'm such a big believer, invest in yourselves, people, please, you can start with YouTube for free, be resourceful. Like if you don't have the money, which a lot of times I didn't, you know, I started for free. Like that's like me and Angela both have moms with mental illness. My mom has the same thing, but you know, you, you felt, I felt like I was alone. I'm like, man, I, I felt like I was the only person that had that. And that all came from an investment in a course. So, you know, whatever you have to do, you know, if you have to borrow it, you know, whatever, you know, invest in yourself um, and mm -hmm. take care of yourself. Those are the things that I would say that have transformed my life, um, especially like self, you know, personal development. That's so important to me. Like, you know, Angela, one of the reasons why we can work together is because she ain't afraid to pay for a course. Like, you know, Come I on. respect that so much about her because you know that, you know, you know that, be, you know, you're going to be successful and that determination and grit that you it's, it's there because you believe that it's going to work. So faith too, you got to have that faith because I knew yeah. that just by me connecting with her. Now I'm on podcast. Yeah. It's like my second podcast. I never was having these opportunities before. You got to get around the right people. Yeah. That's three. That's another That's one. Right. That's another takeaway. You got to be in the right rooms with the right people and that can transform your lives. And I know because this partnership and brotherhood and sisterhood that we have, we're going to change lives because the purpose mm -hmm. is pure. Is to help others. So, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they can hey, reach me at my, my brothers, handle, sisters, um, Instagram. Uh, is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jr. Y'all brother and sister, I'm going to be the auntie. Y'all don't leave me okay. out. Hold on. Auntie Sheila is coming. <laughs> we got you. Hey, listen. Yes. We got you. We got you. <laughs> yes, yes, That's yes. That's it. Okay. And, we need, and look, we need the wisdom. We definitely need, we, we, can, we can appreciate the wisdom. We always need the yes. wisdom from our elders, so we definitely gonna take it. Let's go. <laughs> That's okay, JR, so, how can people contact you? What's your yeah, social media? I appreciate handle? it. Yes. 
Um, all of them are pretty much the same as J Alexander Group. It's uh, G R P. I couldn't. I didn't want the group to be too long, so it's J A L E X A N D R E G R P. Um, but you know, the focus will be once we build up our next page. You know, hopefully we'll be invited back on, and uh, we'll we'll hopefully in the next few months be at another phase of paging, and we'll have more to share about the journey. Of course, you're always welcome back. We would love to see the progress as you build. I'm so excited for you all. Many blessings to your upcoming endeavors. I know God has his hand over you all. He is going to bless you um, to levels that you can't even imagine. So thank you very much for coming on. I really appreciate it for stopping by and dropping these knowledge and all of this on the Sheila C. Hill show is where it's at. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank you very much. And until next time, we will check you all out. Yes, All right, bye. yes, yes. So at this bye time, bye. we're gonna wrap this. <laughs> we're gonna wrap this session up. I tell you, it was wonderful. I just am just and in awe, almost speechless. Y'all know I'm not hardly ever speechless, but I'm so thankful that they were able to come and give us this <sighs> this knowledge. I now have to relax, relate, release. I always tell y'all to relax, relate, release. Now I got to do it because that was so. I'm. I, I just it's so fooling. Uh, feeling. And I'm so excited. So now if you're a super dope, now they were super dope. Aren't they like, what? They, they got it. They bringing it, but they're real. And that's what I love about being transparent and people that are real and about helping others. That's what this show is about. So if you have an extraordinary story or if you have a business or anything that you want to advertise, and you want to come and show your story, tell your story about your lifestyle, your entrepreneurship, or even in mental health, just reach out to us at the Sheila C. Hill Show at the Sheila C. Hill Show dot com and just request to be a guest if you would like to be a sponsor. Or if you want to have a commercial, please just reach out to us and we'll be glad to get in contact with you. And if you have feedback about the show, if you resonated with anything, this is where we want to have you. We're family, right? So I want to hear what was your takeaway from this episode? What is something that Angela said that resonated with you? What is something that jr said that resonated with you? Because you know, I'm your girl, right? So we're gonna have this conversation. Is this something that you you afraid to bring out about your life? Are you afraid? I want you to understand that we are in this together. We're going to be real about this. We're in this together. So until next time, listen, y'all know how I feel about y'all. If no one said it today, I love you and I highly appreciate you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. You are loved and highly appreciated. So until next time, let's get it. Let's go. Until next time on the Sheila C. Hill Show. Have a good day.